These Haitians are boarding a boat that takes them across the Gulf of Darien from the Colombian city of Turbo to Capurgana, a small town near Panama. Crossing into Panama, they begin a long trek north through Central America to their final destination, the United States. That is the plan for thousands of migrants playing a waiting game near the Colombia-Panama border. The majority are Haitians and Cubans, though authorities say some come all the way from Africa and Asia. These migrants do not want Colombia as their home, nor place to seek refuge. What they are doing is using this country as the passage to get to the United States. That is no secret to anyone. None of them have requested refuge. When Panama closed its border with Colombia in May to stop the flow of migrants, it stranded thousands in Colombia. Local authorities declared a state of emergency. They say a total of 3,000 Cubans live in these temporary shelters in Turbo, planning their next move. The Colombian government is now asking Cubans to leave voluntarily or face deportation, back to Cuba or their country of origin. <laughs> Many of the Cuban migrants say they're afraid all the hardships they've endured will be for nothing. What many are asking is that we send them on a plane to Mexico. Costa Rica and Panama did this at one point. But we have two issues. Mexico has said they can no longer receive these migrants. And secondly, we do that, we are going to start receiving a wave of migrants that is unmanageable. The Cuban government said they will take back the Cubans without retaliation. But this weekend, Hundreds of Cuban migrants boarded boats in Turbo to take their chances crossing the dense jungles of Panama. To my children and mother, I say, give me strength. Don't cry for me. I will get there. Thank you to the people of Turbo, the church and the prison that gave us breakfast this morning. They may not get very far. Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Panama have all closed off their borders to undocumented migrants, but they keep coming. Colombian officials say they have deported almost 6,000 undocumented migrants in the last two months alone. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Colombia.